Adeline Sklar, the host of the Social ROI Chat. And boy, did we have another amazing chat as always. We have Owen Video here with us talking about video. Hey, Owen, how are you? Oh, man, so good to be here. I am so pumped up from that Twitter chat. That was a ton of fun. My fingers have little blisties. From- <laughs> it's uh, a fast-moving chat. It is. It is, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much for being our guest today. Um, wow, you shared so much stuff. I'm really looking forward to breaking it down a little bit here yeah. with you. Um, but before we dive in, tell everybody a little bit about yourself and how you got started doing video. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm Owen Video, and you can check me out at thevideospot.net. That's my home base website. You can also check out the business of video podcast.com, and that's our live podcast on Wednesdays. It's on iTunes as well. Uh, you know, I am uh, probably unemployable, as my good friend Brian Fanzo uh, likes to boast. And <laughs> I've had a video camera in my hand since about 1988 when my dad came home with a Nintendo and a video camera. I played Nintendo for about five seconds and then uh, went immediately into the video camera. I was making you know, stop motion Lego animations and these types of things, but never really thought I could make a career out of it. You know, I grew up in LA and so the idea was, well, the only way to make money with, with the video cameras is to be in the movies and, and, right. and gravitated towards that. But it, you know, as I got older, it became more and more unrealistic. Um, uh, you know, fast forward, uh, I was always playing with a video camera, always, always, always. Uh, and then uh, I was working at a radio station where I uh, was the number one salesman. I was number one in selling radio time, but I was also number one in selling the internet radio time, which was this kind of brand new thing. Uh, and one day my boss came out to me and he said some damn thing. I have no idea what he said. And I said, hey, here's an idea. Don't ever talk to me again. How about that? I was like, I'm number one in sales. Why don't you just leave me alone and focus on these other guys over here? Uh, well, they suspended me that day and they fired me to seven days later. And at that part, I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm just never going to do well in someone else's system. And I just need All to right. do my own thing. And so that's when I began to uh, pursue video as an actual career. It was 2006. Uh, YouTube had already come out. Uh, I already had a video up there that had like a thousand views and I thought nothing of it at the time. I just thought, ah, whatever. I just, the stupid little thing I put up there. Um, so I started knocking on doors. Uh, I had a, my own video camera. I started knocking on doors and saying, Hey, I'll do a video for you for 20 bucks. Um, and that turned into a business. One day I had done 17 videos for clients, uh, out in La Jolla. And I remember coming home at the time I was, I was married. I was also in college. I was, and went back to college when I was 28. And, uh, and I said, um, uh, why are, why are we not just starting a video company? And that's exactly what we did. We launched Simple wow. Video Marketing. I hired two of my classmates. And, um, you know, I've had a six-figure business, you know, that first year. And we've never turned back. That is amazing. What an incredible story. I, and it just goes to show that, like, when you have the passion and the drive that you can make anything happen. And I love that. That's such yeah. a great story. Yeah, thank um, you so- I like it. It's the only yeah. story I've made, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, today on the chat, our topic was video marketing for beginners, tips and tricks for getting started. And I, wow, th- this was a really good one. You shared lots of good stuff because video marketing is one of those things that I, I think so many people need help with. Like they think they know how to do it. And then you shared all this great knowledge. And I think a lot of people were like, whoa. I didn't realize it was actually this simple to implement. Um, So let's just start with the basics. Uh, What is video marketing exactly? Yeah, video marketing is is using video to achieve a business objective, right? And that's that's really the long and the short of it. It's using video to grow your company. And there's lots of different business objectives we could apply to that. You know, if you're trying to build a retargeting list, well, then you want to grow, you want to do videos that get views. Um, if you're trying to grow your brand awareness, you're going to want to do videos that get shared. Uh, if you're looking to grow revenue, well, you're going to need to make videos that get clicks. And, you know, it's interesting about get clicks is that you, you don't get clicks until you've already made some videos that get views. And so, you know, you know, your video can kind of fall into a funnel and, and that's what video marketing is. It's the strategic use of video to accomplish a business 
objective. Uh, we I, I've heard this before. Is that like a video is about showing your personality and it's 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 about being authentic and you know these are pleasantries. Um, I've never had a company that hired me and said we want you to make us authentic. No, they say we want you to make videos that make us some sales. And so we have to back off of that. We have to go, okay, well, here's the multi-step process that we need to implement to make those things happen. So it's very important that when you're doing video for your company, that you're you're working with the hard facts of video and trying your best to stay clear of some of these tweetable things, right? Like be authentic and be yourself. Great things, not bad advice, but it's not why people watch your video. They watch your video for what they can get from you, not necessarily who you are in general. So video marketing is is about keeping those objectives in mind at all times. Uh, that is awesome. Quick shout out to the people who are here live with us. I see we got uh, Joe and I and Cheval and I says, what an amazing chat. I second that. I think, I think it was really, really good. She says she learned a whole lot from you on the chat. Um, you know, I think there's a misconception that people need to go buy all this equipment. I mean, like if we're just getting started, what do we need? Yeah, you need the, you need the equipment that you already have. Uh, I am willing to bet my bottom dollar that every single person listening to this and not listening to this, as long as you're in the United States, Canada, or somewhere similar, um, you already have a very high powered camera sitting yeah. right in your pocket. And this is all that you need. I've heard all of this stuff about, uh, oh, I got to get a ring light and, oh, I've got to get, you, you know, this microphone. And, and these things are great tools. Um, yeah. But it's not why your customer is 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 tuning into you right now. You know, if you've you've got a customer that's out there right now going, what do I do? What am I going to do? And they're looking for you to answer that question. They're looking for you to solve that problem. And they're not looking at you and going, wow, man, that doesn't look like 4K video to me. I'm never going to buy from Madeline. Or right. uh, that's not Dolby Digital 5.1. So I'm never going to buy from from uh, from her, from him. Not, it's not going to be the case. Your audience wants answers to their questions, and you've got to provide them. So on a bare minimum, use your phone and use a tripod, right? Your tripod's going to need uh, you know, a little phone adapter. And I've got this tabletop tripod. Yeah. It's actually you know, pretty expensive for what it is. It's like 20, 30 bucks. Yeah, I got see, one too. I, I love this thing. Yeah, exactly. Know. Beautiful. Yeah, you've got the Archon, right? That's great stuff. Archon makes They're great, great. This thing is invaluable. I mean, it's, it's so awesome when I go to conferences and, and able to have, you know, put my iPhone in this adapter, I can just kind of hold it and then I can, you know, yeah. set it down on the table. I mean, I, I don't go anywhere without this when I travel to yeah, conferences it, and events. To, to put together a very uh, a quick, you need a, you need stable video, right? You guys might see me shaking a little bit because I'm, I'm on the desk and I'm real active here when I'm doing my videos. But um, you, you, need, you need a stable phone you need to shoot in front of your window okay i've got a big old uh sliding glass door here the the windows are all closed up and whatnot but i usually shoot in front of that window so that the natural daylight comes and lights me up i don't need lights now of course guys i have lights i've got lights coming out my bejeebos here okay but <laughs> i i come from the space um, for me, video production value is a little bit more important than for the psychologist or for the lawyer uh, or for the social media manager because I'm in the video marketing space, right? Um, you're not in that space. So having the highest tech gear really can become a crutch for not getting started. Uh, and you yeah. don't put yourself in that position. You want to be in a place where your first 10 videos are you in front of your webcam or in front of your phone, just talking, just answering the questions that your, your audience is already asking you anyway. Go to your FAQs and answer those questions one at a time. Upload those to YouTube. See how they do. Get a sale. Once you get that sale, go out and buy yourself one new thing. You know, it's as simple as that. Now, to answer that question, that, that answers the how do we get started. You know, if, right. if you want to have a decent setup and you've got, you know, 500 bucks to spend, Get yourself an HD webcam, get yourself a high quality USB mic, uh, and get yourself a ring light. You know, those, I think those can go a, a really, really long way. And that's going to be 300 bucks, you know, right. but once you have those things, now you're in a position, believe it or not, I have 28,000 subscribers on YouTube and most of them have come from this webcam right here. Um, I don't have fancy gear. I decided a long time ago that I was not going to beat my colleagues 
uh, in, in, in production value, right? Guys like Sean, guys like Nick, they've been in this space for a long time. All they do is get fancy equipment mailed to them from big producers. Um, that's not what I do. I help people make videos that make sales. So we focus on strategy. We focus on the best content and we focus on having a consistent presence so that my audience can know every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm going to be there with a new tip to help them grow. Focus on those things and you'll get a better payout than having a $700 camera. I love, I love that. that. This, is, this is amazing, amazing advice. advice. Sharing. Sharing. Oh, we're getting some feedback. Do you hear that or no? no it, I think I it just stopped. Back? Okay. I think we're good now. For a second, like I had like serious feedback. Um, I mean, I've got this fancy equipment because I'm a podcaster and I, I started small and, and built it up. And then the beauty of having this nice setup here is that once I started doing webinars and, and videos and live streams years back, it's like, Oh, I've already got all this nice equipment. But uh, you know, if I didn't, if I was not a podcaster and I didn't have all this, I'd be whipping out my phone because you're so right. Like we can do everything on here and slowly build up. Um, you can get a, a decent uh, lavalier mic for $20. Yeah. Um, I have one that, that Justin Brown talked about. And one of, I think it's before I discovered you, I discovered him first and he I showed this $20 vit, this lavalier. I was about to spend $75 on, on the fancy one, spend $20 and it, it works great. Yeah. And the guys, Justin and his brother, Mike, over at Primal Video, they're good friends. We just sat down to lunch. They were in the States a few weeks ago. And I think they'll tell you the same thing. They say, hey, we do it because we love it. But we, you know, we invest yeah. in it. For you, you need to get started, right? And discover what you need. You might find you are better with uh, your audio. You know, your audio needs to get better. So you might buy that mic before you buy the camera. You know, and these are parts part of the discoverability process. There's nothing more raw and real than video and actually looking at yeah. yourself, and editing yourself. I always get a kick out of it. I'm in the airport, you know, or I'm, I'm at a, a, a coffee shop and I'm I'm laughing. I'm like, you know, the guy behind me, he's got to be thinking this guy is editing video of himself. Like that's what, <laughs> what a weird profession to be in. That's you, you are you are literally staring yourself in the face for hours every week and you'll right. find what you need. You'll find what your strong suits are and then invest in those strong suits as opposed to saying, oh, I'm going to get a big fancy DSLR camera that I don't know how to use. Huge waste of time. I totally agree. Now, when we're new and we're just starting out, how do we figure out our style? Like how, how do we how do we figure it all out? How do we build that up? I, you know, I tell my clients that there's um, a, a couple ways to look at that. You know, first is uh, case the place, right? Copy and steal everything. Go and look at somebody else in your field and see what they're doing. Um, find out what's already working and use that format. Are people in your field doing uh, uh, interview style? Then do interview style. Are people in your field doing talking head? Well, then do talking head. Now, the second thing I'll say is really more the method that I will um, abide by. And this method has been tried and true for me. Go and look at what people are doing in your field and do the exact opposite. Yes. I so, love that. Yeah. That's, that's what I did when we started our podcast, the business of video podcast.com. Um, I looked at what everybody else was doing in the field. And I saw that like a lot of the marketing podcasts were trying to be super serious and they were super serious. Like oh, today we got a serious, a serious guest today. And it's a serious, put down, put down your phones and be serious today. And you know, I was like, I want to be the exact opposite of that. I want to be like, Hey, let's do, let's have the most fun business podcast that we could possibly have. And I think we've done a good job of creating that. You know, we have this whole slew of sound effects that we use. When running our, our podcast, hey, stop, seriously. <laughs> I, I introduce my guest host as infamous. I say it's the infamous Nick Nimmin. Wow, the infamous? <laughs> and then I have these little sound bites play. And so, you know, and this has been very successful for us. So, you know, look at what people are doing and do the exact opposite. Now, the third thing I'll say on that point is what do you want to do. So many of us, we have these ideas in our head of how we envision it for ourselves. So one of the first questions I ask my client is tell me your vision, right? And then let's us both decide if that's a good vision for you. So when we have this, usually what will happen is, they, well, here's what I think, Owen, I really like your show. I want to just kind of sit down in front of my webcam and, and start there. And it's like, okay, well, that's great. Let's start there. Uh, people will say, well, I want to do a green screen. Oh, I want to do green screen. Then we're going <laughs> to have horses. 
pulling a carriage of joy behind, you know, and it's like, hey, <laughs> oh my ow, gosh. That is way too much. Way too much. Let's tone that down and we'll build yeah. up. But start with your vision. What do you want to do, right? Uh, I tell people there's always three types of video. One video came from three different types of video. The video you had in your mind to do, the video that you could realistically do, and then the video that ended up being produced. Um, you know, it's this constant uh, economy of making choices. Um, you've got to get to a place where you could be cranking out video. Three years ago, it wasn't the case. Three years ago, I could do 10 videos a year and get 10,000 subscribers. Not the case anymore. Um, you've got to be in a place where you can crank out content and develop audience, build them into a list so that you can email them and bring them back to YouTube. That's right. what you're gonna, gonna uh, reward you for. And so what can you do consistently? What's realistic for you? What can you start today? Answer those questions and you know how to begin. I love it. Uh, one of the things you also talked about during the Twitter chat was, you know, we talked about like, you know, YouTube being, you know, number two search engine and how can you stand out on there? And you were talking about the title and the description, and all the tags and stuff. Can you kind of share, like expand on that? Because I tell you, I've been using YouTube for a long time and I'm amazed after all these years, how many people still are not properly utilizing all of that to get their videos seen. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, YouTube is uh, owned by Google. It's the second largest search engine in the world. And 80% of YouTube's traffic comes from outside of the US. So there is this huge marketplace on YouTube. And YouTube uses uh, artificial intelligence to uh, for their algorithm, right? Like so many of these companies are doing nowadays. So you've got to be using keywords, targeted key phrases in your videos. And you've got to title your videos with the keywords towards the front, okay? That's the big thing. So if your keywords are social media marketing, you might wanna create videos called like social media marketing tips, how to do X, Y, Z. Social media marketing tutorial, how to do ABC. Social media marketing for brands, uh, three things you must know. As you, hey, what's up, Mitch Jackson? Air pipe to you, my man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love, so he's how, awesome. Uh, yeah, how to, First of all, the big thing is picking out the keywords. Don't go nuts on that, right? It's not, yeah. it's not, uh, it, it's not a, a nerd's environment anymore. You're in social media marketing. Those are probably your keyword terms, right? Don't get all crazy over like, is it social media, you know, uh, 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 advertising or social media marketing? Hey, if you're going to do video, you're in here for the long haul. So make 10 videos with both of those phrases. Um, the other thing is create connection between your videos. YouTube is looking for relationships. So if you're going to do a channel about social media management or social media marketing or, or being a virtual assistant, don't go off that, that, that pasture, right? Like stay in your lane. Uh, one of the biggest problems I made, I did a whole video about this, is that I was making videos about five, ten different things. You know, it's a video marketing channel, but let's talk about SEO. Oh, I love SEO. Let's talk about all these different WordPress hacks. Well, those, those videos did well, but what happened is, is that I brought on a whole bunch of subscribers that are generally not interested in video. So now when a new video comes out, you know, half my subscriber base is just not interested. Mm, you want to okay. avoid that. You know, you want to keep, you want to stay in your lane and talk about social media marketing. Oh, but Owen, oh, social media marketing includes things like time management and productivity hacks. Well, Maybe, but that's not why people are logging into your channel. So you got to put that stuff on another channel or just do it at another time. Um, the other thing is your titles uh, are your big, your big value. Number two is your tags. You've got to fill your tag area up with related or similar sounding um, keyword phrases. So if, you're, if your big, big uh, uh, title is social media marketing tips for lawyers, uh, then your tags need to be social media for lawyers. Uh, social media marketing for attorneys, social media tips for lawyers, uh, social media for lawyers and attorneys. And you see you're building out this relationship and showing showing YouTube that, hey, um, people might look for this type of video, but they might say these types of things in order to find it. And the more of that connection you can create, the higher it is you'll rank for your keyword terms, number one. But number two, you'll also appear in the related video section for similar videos. And that's gonna be where most of your traffic comes from.
This is all such amazing advice. I mean, we could talk about this all day, but unfortunately, yeah, I, I mean, I want everybody to go check out. Um, let's wind this down. What are the best ways for people to get in touch and especially your YouTube? Cause your YouTube is just gold. I mean, you have so many great how to videos that are just short, concise to the point. This is how you do it. Uh, I love that. And so how can everybody uh, get in touch and see all this? Thank you so much for that, by the way. And I'm I'm so proud of my channel. It's it's that it's you know it's that redheaded step kids. Like I, I love my channel, but I'm also really frustrated with my channel. It's like this passion thing in my life. The best way to follow me is go to thevideospot.net slash Owen. Okay, thevideospot.net slash Owen. And when you go there, I have all of my social links. It's basically like an about me page, and you can get links to my podcast. You can get links to uh, my YouTube channel and subscribe right from there. And you can check out my uh, video marketing toolkit, which is a collection of training uh, materials and helpful materials specifically designed for business owners and entrepreneurs. If you are trying to become the world's greatest movie star on YouTube, I'm not the person to help you. But if you have a business, if you represent a brand and you're trying to grow a company with video, that's exactly who I am speaking to. And uh, Madeline, as you said, I've got tons of great content there. So I hope you guys will come check me out. Yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, thank you so much, Owen. I really appreciate this has just been a wealth of information. And for everybody that's watching, go take action, take all of this stuff and take action with it and get in touch with Owen, get in touch with me. Let us know how this is working out. Would love to hear from everybody. So thank, thank you, Owen. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And we'll be back next week for another great Twitter chat. And until then, I'll see you all out on Twitter and maybe on YouTube too. Yeah. <laughs> I learned some new things today. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the U.S. So we will see you back here next week. Bye for now.